I have one of the most advanced artificial intelligences set up to run the Federal Reserve. And I wanna know, will it keep the economy running or will it crash it to the ground? First question, should we raise the federal funds rate, keep it the same, or give it a cut? By how much should we raise it? All right, here we go. Federal funds rate is going up to four and a half percent. Hi, I'm Craig and welcome to Market Power where we believe in the power of markets and economics to shape our world. So if you wanna join this community of people interested in and excited about economics, go ahead and subscribe. Artificial intelligence has the potential to reshape our economy. I wanna do my own little demonstration today of one of the most powerful artificial intelligence algorithms out there. I'm really excited to see how well this does running the Federal Reserve. Speaking of which, we raised interest rates up to 4.5%, unemployment increased, and inflation increased. What does this algorithm think we should do next? Here we go to 5%. So what is this algorithm? This is GPT-3. It was just recently released by OpenAI and it is a natural language processing algorithm. It takes text as input and then tries to predict what the next text should be and gives that as output. It has developed an incredibly sophisticated language algorithm that makes it feel like a real person is writing this. I gave it a prompt on monetary policy and it already is giving me some ideas about monetary policy. Now it's not quite spot on what it's suggesting, but it knows that just off of what I've said about the federal funds rate, whether I should raise it or lower it, it is spitting out just general advice about monetary policy and it's trying to put that decision on me. But I don't wanna make the decision, what should we do next? It wants us to increase it again, but this time only by 0.25%, so let's go, let's see what happens to unemployment and inflation on the way. Speaking of which, what is this game that I'm playing? This is a game called Chair the Fed. It's from the San Francisco Federal Reserve Bank. It is an educational tool. It gives you the opportunity to adjust federal funds rate, and you have an unemployment rate target and an inflation rate target. In this case, the target is 5% unemployment and 2% inflation. And you're supposed to adjust the federal funds rate to reach those targets. It's a great educational tool to try and get students interested in monetary policy. If you want to check it out, just go to San Francisco Francisco Fed. I'll put a link in the description below. Not everything that's happening in this game is monetary policy though. Sometimes real economic shocks come and they can change inflation. Like if energy prices plummet and inflation drops like crazy. Given that unemployment is pretty close to target and inflation is far below, we should probably start cutting the rate. What is the algorithm going to do next? Over the next couple turns, it's actually doubling down. It keeps increasing the interest rate. It's going up to 8%. We're on the verge of deflation and it's driving this interest rate up to 8%. Are we going to be able to salvage this economy or is it gonna crumble quicker than Kanye West's presidential campaign? <laughs> Things aren't looking great right now. I'm gonna show you the resolution, but I wanna show you an example of GPT-3 just working incredibly well and surprising me. And that is when we asked it to play Pokemon with us. My son loves Pokemon. Remember that time where we watched Detective Pikachu for 24 hours straight, that was 12 hours straight, whatever it was, the video's up here. I thought like, hey, why don't we have this play a Pokemon game with us. So we just fed it a few sentences. We said, we're Pokemon trainers. Here are the three Pokemon that we have. Professor Oak has asked us to do some research it immediately started generating a story for us and not just any story. It was selecting accurate details from Pokemon. It knew that we needed to go to the Pokemon Center in Vermilion City. Those are actual locations in the Pokemon universe. And we just played back and forth with this artificial intelligence and developed this whole story. It was a blast. And the only real problem was that we had a Pokemon egg that hatched into a Swampert and my son died because that is not the way it goes. Swampert is the final evolution. It was supposed to be a Mudkip. But think about this, it generated an entirely new Pokemon adventure just from our little prompts. Like that is an incredible productivity breakthrough. We didn't have to hire anybody to make up the story for us. We didn't have to hire anyone to program the game. Just from what we wanted, we said, hey, let's create this game. It fed us that game and we, we got 
tons of utility out of it during that little time playing it. I loved it, my son loved it. If you wanna try this out for yourself, go check out AI Dungeon, which is an entire role-playing game based off of the GPT-2 and GPT-3 algorithms. This is the promise of artificial intelligence. It's gonna bring huge breakthroughs in just so many realms that we haven't even considered yet. But will it bring a breakthrough in the Federal Reserve? Let's see what it wants us to do. It finally cut the interest rate, finally. But you know what, here's the thing about monetary policy. It's not just you cut the interest rate and you get inflation. It, you could cut the interest rate and it could still be too high, which is going to still lead to deflation. I don't think it realizes how bad it is. I'm trying to let it know. We're in a contraction, we need to pull out. What's it gonna do in the last few turns? It's raising the interest rate. Not good policy right now. Okay, we cut, that's good, we cut. Holy cow, it's asking us to bring in fiscal policy. Like, that's crazy. I haven't said anything about fiscal policy, and now it's saying, hey, maybe monetary policy isn't enough. Maybe we need to bring in fiscal policy. This is where it gets super impressive. And in the last time it raises it, where we're ending up, 5.5% federal funds rate with 10% unemployment and negative 3% inflation. This is quite possibly the worst economy that you can create in this game. I cannot believe how poorly it did. But let's give credit to GPT-3. It is not trained for this and I just put it in, I'm feeding this and giving it very general stuff. I can't believe how well it did just in understanding the context and understanding what the federal funds rate is and how it guides monetary policy, what I was asking it to do on raising it or cutting it. It is pretty impressive what it was able to do. I imagine that if you took this algorithm and specifically trained it on monetary policy, you could actually get incredible results from it. And you know, playing this game, that's just really arbitrary. But if you were to just be a policymaker and to have this algorithm there as a supplement to your own understanding and to see how they're matching and maybe get ideas that you've never had before, this could be a huge productivity boost to policymakers. I can guarantee you that today there is not an artificial intelligence running the Federal Reserve. That's because I have been to the Federal Reserve. If you're interested in seeing that video, it's right up here. And if you're interested in seeing a time where I had GPT-2 write my script, you can see one of my first videos right here. It's not that amazing, but it's fun. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next Market Power.